Welcome back mathematicians. In this video we are going to solve more oblique triangles. A quick reminder to solve an oblique triangle means to find the lengths of any unknown sides and the measurements of any unknown angles. In this case we will be given two sides and the included angle and an included angle means that the two sides that are given construct the angle. This is considered the case side angle side. For this case we will use the law of cosines to solve the triangle which states, for a triangle with sides A, B, and C, and opposite angles A, B, and C respectively, we have three versions of the formula. I'll read the first. It says A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine of angle A. What you may notice is that there's a pattern with all three versions. The pattern is the square of one side of a triangle equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides, which would be this part of the formula, minus twice their product times the cosine of their included angle, which is this part of the formula. Regardless of the version, what you'll want to do is solve for either an unknown side, which would be the expression on the left side of the equal sign, or the unknown angle. Let's now use this information to solve for the triangle, where you're given angle C, side A, and side B. I'm going to draw a picture to illustrate what we have and what we need to find. I'm going to put angle C on the bottom left hand vertex. I'll put side A here which is the four units and side B here which is five units. I need to find side C, angle A, and angle B. We all need to start in the same place in this case which is to find side C. That means I'm going to have C squared is equal to because since we're solving for a side that's going to be the unknown on the left side of the formula. This is equal to 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 times the cosine of the included angle, which is 50 degrees. We now need to square root both sides, so C is equal to exactly 4 squared, the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 times the cosine of 50 degrees. We should type this into our calculator, making sure our calculator is in degree mode, and coming up with an approximate decimal, I get 3.91 units. Next we're going to solve for either angle A or angle B, and it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I chose angle A, so therefore on the right side of the formula, I know I'm going to have cosine of angle A. That means on the left side, I will have A squared, which is 4 squared, and this is equal to 5 squared plus 3.9 1 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3.91 times cosine angle A. What I now need to do is solve for angle A. I'm going to start by subtracting 5 squared and 3.91 squared to both sides. This gives me 4 squared minus 5 squared minus 3.91 squared and that's equal to negative 2 times 5 times 3.91 times cosine of angle A. Next, I'm going to divide by negative 2 times 5 times 3.91 to both sides, which gives me 4 squared minus 5 squared minus 3.91 squared divided by negative 2 times 5 times 3.91, and that's equal to cosine of angle A. Finally, I need to take the inverse cosine of both sides. This gives me an exact value of A equals the inverse cosine of 4 squared minus 5 squared minus 3.91 squared divided by negative 2 times 5 times 3.91. I now need to type this into my calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And to do this, I'm going to show you exactly what you would type in. So you'll start by typing in inverse cosine, which is typically second cosine. From there, you're going to put in an extra parenthesis here to group all the terms in the numerator. So this will be open parenthesis, 4 squared minus 5 squared minus 3.91 squared, close parenthesis, divided by, and then you're going to type in, in parentheses, your denominator, which is negative 2 times 5 times 3.91, close parenthesis, close parenthesis. When you type this into your calculator, you're going to get an approximate value of 51.6 degrees. Finally, we're going to find angle B, and angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus the known angle of 50 degrees minus the known angle of 51.6 degrees. That'll give us a value of 
0.4 degrees. All right, guys, good luck.